it's really beautiful because what I, I loved from the very beginning about yoga is that um, you could receive many teachings, but all the teachings were meant for you to check it out for yourself and to see what's true deep inside. Um, that's tricky too, because sometimes we have to get past ourselves in order to find something. And so that's also part of the things that you can um, discover in yoga, how to get past yourself in order to discover yourself. <laughs> And it's been an interesting journey because I didn't, it's been surprising along the way. I guess I was following my heart from the very beginning and it led me into yoga through enthusiasm and just the joy of stretching and breathing. There's something very natural about it. We can make it really complicated, but I, after, you know, I've been, I guess, you know, offering yoga classes for 18 years. And I keep marveling at how, first of all, how it works. You know, it really works. Mm. You know, we come in the room and we relax a little bit. And that's what I mean by it works. <laughs> I mean, what mm. more do we want than to just relax a yeah. little bit here? You know, mm -hmm. we think we want other things, but the question is, what do you get when you get what you want? You get a moment of like, okay you know yeah. until we're on to the next thing mm. so there's a lot of the very simple things in yoga that help to bring us to some basic relaxation but there's so much more to yoga than that as well which is what the discovery process is how to get over ourselves to find ourselves it's a it's just a tricky way of saying it but to be more precise it's to to get past who we think we are to discover who we truly are Yes. We assume to, 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 to be who we think we are. We assume to, to be the stories that we tell about ourselves. Yeah. And, and as we see that those stories, they change and they evolve and they heal and they do all kinds of things, they lighten or they become heavier. But all along, you're there all along. <laughs> actually take a step back from our story with compassion and gentleness it it can lead to some really deep questions and and it's and, and what i love about this discovery process is that what we discover is is actually um good news <laughs> yeah it fosters the journey sometimes we're um in the beginning we're a little afraid to discover because we're afraid of what we might find because we feel like there might be some dark things in there but as we take steps often with you know help help from our friends help from our teachers help from life you know we start to discover that this discovery pro process is a is a there's a reason they call it enlightening because it's lightening it lightens the load and, and we become, we feel lighter in our lives the more we recognize who we truly are. So it's, 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 it fosters its own momentum and interest through that lightening process. And sometimes we encounter some things along the way that we need to work through, but it's very fruitful to be on the path. Hello, this is Lynn Fraser with the Killaby Center Radical Recovery Summit. We are so excited to bring you the lineup for January 10th to 19th, 2020. Go to RadicalRecoverySummit.com to see the new headliners for 2020 and to sign up. You can watch free January 10th to 19th or buy an all-access pass.